good morning to all now we are going to discuss about various types of sensors which is used in internet of things before that we are going to discuss about what is sensor sensors are activators or the devices that are able to emit accept and process the data over the network the sensors or activators may be connected either through wired or wireless connections this contains gps electromechanical gyroscope rfid which also under radio frequency most of the sensors need connectivity to sensor gateways the connection of sensors or activators can be to a local area network or personal area network here are some of the examples of various different types of sensor the first one is ultrasonic sensor it is used to determine the distance of an object like bats do by using the sonar rays it offers excellent non contact range detection with the high accuracy and stable readings in an easy to use package second type infrared obstacle avoidance sensor module this module is very easy to use and is often used in robots to detect objects near the sensor these sensors have a digital output pin that outputs a signal when it detects an object and also when the model detects an obstacle the green indicator light on the board lights up the model detects the distance that is ranges from 2 to 30 cm and the detection angle is 35 degree angle third type soil hygrometer detection module soil or soil moisture sensor this is a simple water sensor that can be used to detect the soil moisture it outputs a high signal when the moisture is above a certain threshold you can also read an analog signal whose value is proportional to the moisture level it can be used to create an automatic self watering plant fourth type microphone sensor this sensor is used for sound detection this module has two outputs that is analog output and also digital output the digital output sends a i signal when the sound intensity reaches a certain threshold the threshold sensitivity can be adjusted via potentiometer on the sensor next fifth type barometric pressure sensor it is used to measure the absolute pressure of the environment by converting the pressure measures into altitude you have a reliable sensor for determining the height of your robot or projectile for example the sensor also measures the temperature as well as humidity next the sixth type is photo resistor sensor module light detection light this can be used to detect the light detection with the help of an arduino board next type digital thermal sensor module temperature sensor module the thermal sensor module is very sensitive to the ambient temperature generally used to detect the ambient temperature next type rotary encoder module brick sensor development board when you rotate the rotary encoder it counts in the positive direction and the reverse direction rotation counts are not limited with the buttons on the rotary encoder you can reset to its initial state and start counting from zero it is also one of the type of sensor which is used to determine the count next type is gas sensor module which is used to detect the some of the sensitive gases such as lpg liquefied petroleum gas i butane propane methane alcohol hydrogen and smoke it can be used in gas leakage detecting equipments in family and also in various types of industries next type is motion sensor module vibration switch alarm this module can be used to trigger the effect of various vibration theft alarm intelligent car earthquake alarm motorcycle alarm etc next one is humidity and rain detection sensor module this is the rain sensor it's used for all kinds of weather monitoring next one is passive buzzer module a simple sound making module you set i or low to drive this model by changing the frequency you will hear a different sound next type of sensor is speed sensor module 
tachometer is a simple module that allows you to test the speed of the motor. Widely used for motor speed detection, pulse count, position limit and so on. Next one is infrared flame detection sensor module. Flame detection sensor module is sensitive to the flame but also it is used to detect the ordinary light. This is usually used as a flame alarm. It detects a flame or a light source of the wavelength in the range of 760 nanometer to 1100 nanometer. Detection point is of about 60 degrees, particularly sensitive to the flame spectrum. And the next type of sensor is 5 volt 2 channel relay module. It allows you to control various applications that operate at high voltages with low voltages like 5 volt. It can be controlled directly by any type of microcontroller. Next type is breadboard power supply model. It supplies 3.3 volt and also 5 volt to the third of the breadboard. This is specially useful to power up your breadboard circuits from an external power supply. Next one is pyroelectric infrared sensor module. The PAR sensor is a module that allows you to detect movement from humans or else pets. It is easy to integrate with your microcontroller. Next type is accelerometer module. This module measures the acceleration. It is commonly used in portable devices and video game controllers to detect movement and actions from the player. Next one is temperature and humidity sensor which is used to detect the temperature and humidity in the room. It integrates seamlessly with the Arduino board. Next type is transmitter and receiver sensor. If you need to send a data or if you need to receive the data from the microcontroller, we can use the RF433M and NAX module. It is also used to send the data with the help of radio frequency. Here we have discussed about the various different types of sensors. Thank you.